The Georgia lieutenant governor says he wants to put more money into school safety by giving educators a $10,000 bonus to be trained and armed. As WJCL 22 News' as Lydia Blackstone reports, he made that announcement at a school on Wednesday. You know, anyone who enters a school with a firearm uh, is committing an act of terror. An act of terror that retired officer Mark Breen has responded to. Walked into one of our schools with a shotgun that was uh, completely dismantled underneath his coat, went into the bathroom, assembled the shotgun, went across to the principal's suite of offices and took the vice principal hostage. He says the problem schools face with an active shooter, time. When seconds count, a police officer can be at, at, at best minutes away. So definitely situations that require a lot of training, would you say? Uh, without a doubt, absolutely. The training to carry a firearm, Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones is proposing be offered to educators. Particularly school systems that maybe don't have the uh, resources. And uh, so we came up with a grant program that we're gonna introduce this legislative session. It's been legal since 2014 in Georgia for educators that are trained and screened to carry weapons. But it's not too common because whether to allow it or not is left up to individual school boards. The new legislation would give $10,000 bonus to an educator who gets approved to carry. But former K-5 teacher and president of the Georgia Association of Educators, Lisa Morgan, thinks this isn't the solution. It is going to make the situation worse. Morgan thinks this isn't the job for a teacher. We should not have teachers leaving to go have firearms training rather than their training to help assist our students. The announcement being made at Austin Road Elementary School in Winder, Georgia, just hours before the mass shooting in Maine. You know, it was a bowling alley there in Maine, but it could have very easily been a school. But for Breen, it's about children's safety. So whether it's a school officer or a teacher, he supports it. Capable individual, immediately available to be able to meet deadly physical force, especially in our sensitive institutions like uh, schools. In Savannah, Lydia Blackstone, WJCL 22 News.